My name is Aaron Cummins. I'm the rifle product manager at Browning. And today we're going to talk about the different configurations you can set up with your X-Bolt Max long range and the buttstock. The tools you're going to need is a number two Phillips screwdriver with a reduced shank, a pair of pliers if you're going to be changing the configuration of the adjustable comb, and a little bit of oil. To remove the recoil pad, you want to put a little bit of lubricant on the pad itself and also the shaft of your screwdriver. That way you don't chew up your recoil pad. There's, there's holes in the recoil pad. You can go in there and find the head of the screw and then remove them. Now you can get access to the recoil pad, the stock. If you want to put the spacers in, you can see there's a protrusion on the, on the stock that fits into the spacer, and a protrusion that will fit into the recoil pad. And you just line them up and reinstall. You want to make sure that the, the screw has at least a half inch of thread engagement into the stock itself before you reinstall it. To remove the adjustable comb so that we can change the configuration, with the comb in the lowest position, you want to reach in with a pair of needle-nose pliers and pull the clip that retains the comb. You can see that there's a groove that this clip goes on so that uh, when you put it back together you'll know how that assembles. Now to move the wheel from the right side to the left side, what you have to do is you have to move this the hardware piece up a quarter inch by loosening these screws because you can see that this bolt and this block are retained in place. With it raised up, you can remove the hardware. Now if you want the wheel on the left side, just put the bolt in on the opposite side. Put the block in. Notice that the block has a, a, a tall piece here that goes against the hardware on the bottom side. And then you can put the wheel on. If you want to get rid of the wheel altogether, so if you have a household with left and right hand shooters and they're all going to be shooting the gun, with the supplied hardware, you set it up very similarly. You get the nut on one side. block on the other, but instead of using the bolt with the, with the wheel, you use the cap screw. It goes through the block into the nut. And then tighten down the screws. And then you can tighten using the supply Allen wrench into the cap screw. Once you have the configuration you desire, to reassemble all you need to do is tighten the screws until they snug. Do not over torque as you could strip it or break the screw. And then reattach the comb. Pull the clip. Put the comb in. Put it all the way to the bottom. Reattach the clip. And reattach the recoil pad. With all the different configurations you can set up with the Max stock, you should be able to set it up for you perfectly for your long range shooting experience.